Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, a vision for Ireland calls for us to examine how we can work to build a better country for everyone. <clears throat> As the Bible says, where there is no vision, the people perish. If we aspire to a country where our people live in prosperity and peace, there is no better mission statement than the proclamation of 1916. This states that the Republic guarantees religious and civil liberty, equal rights and equal opportunities to all its citizens, and declares its resolve to pursue the happiness and prosperity of the whole nation and all of its parts, cherishing all the children of the nation equally. Nearly 100 years ago, Pierce read this proclamation outside the GPO. The rebellion failed at that time, yet, as Yeats said, a terrible beauty was born. We have achieved freedom since then, but has the vision of Pierce and Lawler before him been fully achieved? On several occasions since independence, our country has tottered near the brink of economic collapse. In 1958, T.K. Whittaker in the first plan for economic development said, there is therefore a real need to, be, to buttress confidence in the country's future and to stimulate the interest and enthusiasm of the young. His plan was launched at a time when emigration was so high and our economic prospects so low that the future of Ireland looked extremely bleak. We have faced several financial and economic crises since then. Now our country is struggling to escape the consequences of the collapse of our Celtic tiger economy. An era marked by greed and a marked absence of responsibility and accountability at the highest levels has caused immense suffering and the loss of our economic independence. A modern democratic society is free, under the rule of law, and looks after its people by providing for their safety, housing, education, health and welfare. It fosters a decent standard of living and seeks to encourage employment and the overall welfare of the people. These duties and responsibilities are seen to be those of the people we elect to govern us. It is vital that these duties have the support of each citizen as well. There is a pressing need in our country for each citizen to have a keen sense of civic duty, a love of country, and a shared sense of responsibility for their fellow man. I believe it is vital that the people of Ireland develop a sense of civic duty and responsibility compatible with their being citizens of a republic. Love of country and of its people starts with a sense of place and a knowledge of its history. An outstanding example of this is how parish, county and national pride is fostered by the GEA. It is vital that we regard our country in the round, not only as an economy, but where people can live decent lives, <clears throat> infused with artistic, cultural and spiritual values, as well as material ones. It is equally important that our system of government is constantly reviewed, renewed and reformed. The model of government we have at present needs to allow our elected representatives a far fuller say in how decisions are made. We were all shocked by the great economic collapse. We should make sure it doesn't happen again. We need the vigilance of a patriotic people who have a deep respect for civic duty, supporting an alert executive and legislature. If we allow wealthy speculators to dictate our future for their ends and not the public good, then further cata catastrophes await us. On the plinth of the James Finton Lawler statue outside County Hall in Port Leash, his words of prophetic warning are inscribed. Let laws and institutions say what they will. This fact will be stronger than all laws and prevail against them. The fact that those who own your land will make your laws and command your liberties in your lives. Let us have an Ireland where every man, woman and child will be equally cherished. Thank you.